Let's play Max Payne. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. Uh, I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> That's a funny mention of R.E.M. Real men drink Casey. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Really, Max? That was one of the most cliche things you could ever say. I'm pretty sure you can come up with something a lot more clever than pizza delivery. You should use the power of your metaphors and poetic lines to get inside the room. I'm pretty sure that will work. Hold it! Whoa. Let's not get shot by a shotgun. No! Don't shoot! I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Max Payne is winning. But, come on, let's go. You're gonna help me get inside the laundromat. And don't even think about picking up any weapons on your way down here. I got my eye on you. I'm taking all the weapons that I can. I'll feel a lot less nervous if you would stand in front of me, that way I have a chance. In case you pull anything. You go in first. Okay, I'll go in first. It's me! Open up! Let me in, quick! Not so fast. The password. John Woo. Come on. Okay, John Woo. Alright. Come right in. It's a trap! You traitor. I like to use bullet time in this room. Really fun place to have a shootout. You traitor. We could have been something. We could have made a difference. It was dirty money. Again with the dirty money, Max? If the money's so dirty, why don't you wash it? We're in a laundromat. You know, Max, you pick up dirty painkillers, but you don't pick up money. That's one thing I'll never understand about you, Max. Mind if I change the station? Thank you. You got it. I've always loved that line. Thank you. He says the same thing when you shoot the alarms. Ingram on the counter, mobster in the bathroom. Hmm, could that be a reference to Pulp Fiction? Maybe, maybe not. But if you take the uh, weapon from the counter, then he comes at you with a lead pipe. It's pretty funny. What kind of bathroom doesn't have a sink, just a toilet? New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Why are they making me look like the bad guy? I'm doing the city a favor by taking out the garbage. They should be making a statue of Max Payne. Oh yeah, this is a secret room filled with shotgun ammo and a poster of Soldier of Fortune 2 by Double Helix. If you don't know what this game is, it came out back in 2002. It was developed by Raven Software and it was known for having lots and lots of gore. This week on Address Unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. 
but that's where I always end up anyway. Only, it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, That's mirrors far more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong, and suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own screen in that brightly lit white hospital room strapped to my bed. Now that was a dress unknown. That is one of the best TV shows of Max Payne. And it's a hell of a lot better than the TV shows that come on in real life. And that's saying something. On, Max, reload the weapon. It doesn't take that long. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, Dress Unknown is another TV show which only appears once in this game. But in the second game, there's a whole marathon of episodes. I think it's supposed to reference that TV show that was back, uh, that came out back in the 90s. I think it was called Twin Peaks. Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? No, not the green. Gentlemen, gentlemen, don't believe everything you see on TV. <laughs> I've always loved this little bit. It's so random how it falls. Okay, how do I want to take out these guys? I think I'm feeling like an Ingram. He doesn't suspect a thing. Oh, now he does. I'm surprised he didn't join his buddies. And he just suddenly stops. How appropriate. Wow. Okay, that was unexpected. Be right back. Okay, we're back, and this guy is still shooting me. I always forget about this guy, no joke. What the hell are you standing around for? They're bombing us. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. What are you doing? This is war. Freaking war. Oh, Vinny, he's on the other side. Vinny Gogniti. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed. I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squad on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Got me be bailed. I made like Charyon fat. I always thought Vinny looked like Bill Gates. Ooh, now it's a bit of a gun fight. And Grams will solve this problem. There we go. A crumpled letter lay on Gagniti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gogniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. He shot Dino just because he wanted to see what his brains looked like on the wall. Yeah, that's not crazy at all. No, that's completely normal. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels. 
but it's fear that gives men wings. Oh, Max. You never disappoint me with your poetic lines. <laughs> yeah, right. Who does this guy think he is? Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. He's got a bullet lodged in his stomach, and he's doing dodge rolls, side rolls, high jumps. There's no way anybody can do that. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. Wow, he's lost a lot of blood. I'm surprised he hasn't passed out yet. I think Vinny is superhuman. Also, Vinny doesn't wear glasses in the PS2 version and the Xbox version. It's only in the PC version. Alright folks, we'll uh, cut it here. Next video we will go after Vinny. See you then.